Здравствуйте. Начинаем. Да? Здравствуйте. Добре. Окей. Окей. Let me start uh, this event. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon to all participants of this meeting. Uh, my warmest congratulations to Gdansk University of Technology, Gdansk Tech from Zaporizhia, Zaporizhia Polytech. And I wish all participants fruitful cooperation today. Uh, this year, thanks to the initiative of uh, Pani Professor Gamulka Kristina and Mrs. Kalamitz Katerina, uh, we began cooperation between our universities. And I express my respect and gratitude to them for this initiative. I am grateful to my colleague, the head of international, Pani Majewska, for her support us, big the Night of Science and International Scientific Conference, Dance for the Parisian. I hope for further fruitful cooperation between our universities in the scientific and educational spheres. Uh, with great respect, I wish all the participants good work at the conference and I wish success. And uh, now I want to give the floor Ms. Kristina Galustova, which represents our partner center, Window on America, uh, and the Parisian Scientific Library. Uh, and uh, Pani Kristina, if you don't mind, uh, I want to ask you uh, to be a moderator of this meeting. Thank you. Principal of uh, the University of the Parisian The welcome and address is given to the deputy principal of the University Zaporizhka Polytechnica. Наш университет є одним із найстаріших закладів Південного Східного регіону України. Минулого року ми її значили на державному рівні 120 років. Від цієї дати якраз і ми започаткували такі проекти, як проведення Дня Ночі науки, які вже дуже давно проводяться в європейських наших партнерах, партнерських закладах вищої освіти, які присвячені якраз популяризації науки, розвитку інженерно-технічної творчості молоді, реалізації стен прямо освіти і поєднання технічної освіти і економіко гуманітарної освіти для забезпечення комплексної підготовки виглядачів вищої освіти. На сьогодні в нашому університеті навчається понад 10 тисяч студентів. Освітній процес забезпечують високоліфіковані фахівці, педагоги, серед яких понад 70 кандидатів наук, понад 500 кандидатів наук, які постійно працюють над самовдосконаленням, підвищуючи свого професійного рівня, підвищуючи рівень своєї наукової фаховості. І якраз ми пропонуємо співпрацю нашим колегам з Гданської політехніки щодо започаткування спільних наукових проєктів в напрямках матеріалознавства, електроенергетики, IT-технології, в тому числі і в реалізації підготовки фахівців за напрямок дизайн, архітектура, поєднання також із підготовкою можливості спільних проєктів за в тому числі за економіку гуманітарного спеціальності. Тож ще раз вітаю вас із святом науки. Я думаю, що ця наша зустріч є першою і вона стане плідним початком для майбутнього спільного наукового співробітництва в рамках партнерських відносин між нашими державами і між нашими закладами. Разом, але не змінним, ось 120 років залишається одне – Якість освіти. Запорізька політехніка – найстаріший навчальний заклад в області. І разом з тим це більш ніж віковий досвід виховання професіоналів. Це кузня висококваліфікованих кадрів. Все це дає можливість вважатися одним з провідних державних вищих України. 120 років у 
уважний вік, але навчальний заклад з руками лише акумулює гунтовні знання в учительних галузях та сферах. І йти у нову з часом, бути сучасним, технологічним, цифровим, все це про машинку. Вітя запрішував політику постійно досліджує ринок праці, актуальні вакансії, професійні вимоги, напрямки та спеціальності, за якими навчальна сімейна університет закінчує. Техніка відповідає викликам сьогодення. Випускники затребували профі у своїй сфері. І якщо інші закривають кафедри, Національний університет Запорізька політехніка жодним чином не сполочувала викладацький склад дослідження та навчання. Інститет є послужним навчальним та науковим дослідженням і оснащено сучасним дослідженням формуванням. Запорізька політехніка виконує велике обсяг фундаментальних та прикладних дослідження. Вищі працюють в відомі наукові школи та тривалося з товарним виробництвом матеріалізацією, парювальні процеси, радіотехніка та мікроелектроніка, механіка динамічних систем, технологіка, технічна кібернетика, фізика та ртового тіла. Десятки оснащених лабораторій не лише супер-практика. В університеті звісниця підготовка наукових радів, вищої кваліфікації в аспірантурі. Захоплюючи експерименти, ражаючи технології та цікаві наукові дослідження, де головне не зубрити, а зрозуміти. До складу Національного університету Запорізька політехніка входять декілька коледжів у Запоріжжі та області. При університеті також успішно функціонує спортивний комплекс. Ще одна кузня, що правда, не технічних, а спортивних кадрів. Збірна команда зі спортивної робіки виблизку на змаганнях континентального та світового масштабу. А на чемпіонатах України дівчат не представляють як спортсменів Запорізької області, а як саме студентів технічного вишу. Запорізька політехніка це вже по праву бренд, статус та імідж. Готує кваліфіковані кадри Запорізька політехніка, в тому числі і за гуманітарними напрямками. Окрема гордість. Поэтому запорожский муниципалитет, как никто, заинтересован в том, чтобы специалистов, которые готовят наше уважаемое учебное заведение, продолжали и оставались работать в нашем городе, в нашей области. Поэтому сегодняшнее мероприятие, на мой взгляд, это, это мероприятие, которое позволит обменяться с передовым опытом не только в рамках Украины, но и мировым опытом для того, чтобы наша, наш знаменитый ВУЗ развивался и шагал в едином порыве вместе с другими европейскими Мы очень рады приветствовать вас, коллеги, поскольку недавно у нас была встреча с консулом Республики Польша, где мы обсуждали вопросы, связанные с развитием гуманитарной сферы, в частности, блок, который касался образования, Поэтому я сегодня очень рад тому, что вот развитие этого блока воплощается в такого рода мероприятия. Офицер города, хочу сказать, то, что мы всегда будем рады видеть вас, 
ваших студентов по обмену опытом для того, чтобы мы работали на благо города Запорожья, Украины и растили те кадры, которые будут приносить пользу нашему государству. Okay, so we are happy to be gathered here and this year we have signed the uh, declaration uh, of co-working with Dansk Polytechnica and this is the uh, second educational um, institution in Poland according to the ratings. Uh, the uh, Night of Science is the first event uh, which we are uh, honored to have here uh, under the support of our partners. Uh, and. Um, I'm very happy to be here and now I'm uh, giving the uh, word to the um, uh, to the head of the international uh, to the international department of uh, uh, academical co-working Pani um, Majievska. Giving the word to Pani Majievska, our cornered colleague. Dear international guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you here at Dance University of Technology. We are an international university with a competitive offer for studies in English and Polish. Studying though is not only about learning, but also about cultural events, trips with the Erasmus student network. Driving on bases, gap cruises, watching both the basketball school, and many other sports events, and study clubs where you can pursue your passion. Mm -hmm. We will help you with formalities, including those related to the legalization of your stay, but also we will help you to find your way in the cross cultural environment and engage you in many of your interesting events. Internationalization is extremely important for the authority and the whole academic community. We do our best to provide you with assistance during your whole stay at our university. Please feel free to contact the International Relations Office if you need any help. Thanks to the University of Technology. You are welcome. Uh, it is my great pleasure on behalf of the authorities of Gdańsk University of Technology to welcome you this afternoon. Uh, we would like to thank you to invite us to this great venue, the Night of Science. We would like to show you and share the whole world and your beautiful city, the idea of science. Science is important, but science is also um, a fun for our students, not only for students, but also for the uh, whole um, academic community. As you could see in our movie, we are um, extremely um, historical uh, university. Um, it was established in 1904. It's one of the oldest university in Poland. We are extremely proud of being the best, uh, second of the best uh, research university um, in Poland. And also one of the, among uh, 1,000 um, universities, the best universities in the world. Um, our university um, educates students in eight faculties. We have 37 um, fields of study and 13 um, scientific um, discipline. We educate more, more than five, uh, 1,500 students, 1,500 students. And, um, and we have around 2,000 academic staff. Uh, Gdańsk uh, Tech is very proud uh, to be a public university and to um, have a great opportunity to have this venue uh, tonight. Now, um, I would like to introduce you to uh, the movie um, that was um, um, especially filmed uh, for this venue. And um, our rector, uh, Professor Krzysztof Wilde, will welcome you now. Dear colleagues from the Zaporozhye National Technical University, dear citizens of Zaporozhye, every year on the last Friday of September, the Science Night is celebrated all over Europe. On 
this day, museums, yeah, science yeah. centers, and universities yeah. organize popular science events yeah. with the participation of outstanding scientists yeah. who share their knowledge with citizens and answer their questions. In the end, for the university, events such as Science Night are an opportunity to open up to local communities, even more an interest in the fascinating world of science. At the Dyson University of Technology, we attach great importance to activities addressed to the city's residents. It is with that in mind that we have established the Open Dyson University of Technology, whose main task is to organize popular science events, concerts, exhibitions, book promotions, and many other events for all interested parties. Today's event is especially in this respect. The Zaporozhye National Technical University not only open its doors wide to the citizens of Zaporozhye, but inviting the nice University of Technology to participate in this project, it shows that the true power of science that knows no boundaries. On behalf of the nice University of Technology, I would like to thank the Zaporozhye National Technical University for the invitation to participate in today's event. And I send heartfelt greetings to you. The citizens of Zaporozhye. Gdańsk to Zaporozhye, Zaporozhye to Gdańsk. Therefore, I would like to um, invite our deputy of uh, and mayor of the city of Gdańsk to welcome you uh, during this evening. Of Zaporozhye, the distance between Gdańsk and Zaporozhye may be 1,800 1, uh, kilometers. However, the North Four Sides connects the cities. Which is clearly, clearly visible today. Dysk University of uh, Technology and Zaporozhye University of Technology were established almost at the same time. time. Both universities may pride themselves of over a hundred years of history and hundreds of thousands of thoroughly educated engineers who influence the economic growth of our city, of our regions, along the post study career in local companies and international, international corporations. Similarly to Zaporozhye in Ukraine, where Dysk is one of the leading, leading academic centers in Poland, whereas Dysk University of uh, Technology is one of the best technical uh, universities uh, in the country, playing a significant role on the map of our uh, city. Due to the partnership with scientists and students of the uh, Dyson University of Technology, Dyson becomes more and more innovative and safe. This is a result of cooperation in many, many areas. We established inter alia a position of a, uh, an urban architect, assumed by the representative of architectural faculty of Dyson University of uh, Technology whose task is to create friendly zones in the city. As part of one of our research projects with scientists from the University of Technology, we are working on a new type of road, road paper, safer, producing noise and simultaneously environmentally friendly. In response to the challenges posed by pandemic, Dyke Textile this developed special temperature temperature measuring, uh, measuring stations will be, the, will be designed in nice hospitals today. Additionally, we are very proud of uh, nice tech students who developed an innovative application helping people to suffer from allergies, uh, allergies and they, they, they develop a high monitoring period. These and many other solutions, introducing cooperation between the city of Dice with Dice University of uh, Technology, have tangible influence on the quality of life in Dice for its citizens. Citizens who increase in numbers each year. For Dice is one of the most attractive uh, places uh, in Poland. Many Ukrainian citizens who decided to move to the city of Dice and who constitute an important part of society of our city, continued. In relation uh, to the holiday celebrated today, uh, and similarities to joining Dice and Zaporozhye, such scientific events as Science Night that we uh, hold today are organized in uh, Dice. 
There is a center of science which acts to dynamically in our city and is visited by younger and older, older scientists, uh, enthusiasts, higher education facilities, run universities of the third age for seniors. And there are numerous uh, popular science lectures organized for children, teenagers, and adults. Joint organization of the science night, even by support of the health night. Uh, universities will definitely tighten up the cooperation between the cities which love science. The distance between Gdańsk and the Poroja is 1,800 kilometers. On the other hand, hence, it is only a few hours by plane, and there is a direct plane connection between the cities. We invite the re residents of Zaporozhye to the city of Gdańsk and appreciate, appreciate that we can be here together on science time. Thank you very much. Now I would like to uh, give a floor to Professor Kristina Gomułka. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, студенты, научные работники, жители города Запорожье. Сегодня у нас праздник, праздник науки. И до этого праздника появилась весной 2021 года, когда мы вели переговоры о договоре между Запорожской и Гданьской политехникой. Сегодня мы хотим познакомиться, мы хотим показать вам некоторые достижения, научные достижения наших научных, научных работников. Мы тоже э, хотим познакомиться, показать вам вуз, город э, и наших э, научных работников. Э, я профессор, я веду занятия вместе с, с студентами. Э, к нам приезжают студенты тоже из Украины. Одной из, из студенток, которая, которая расскажет о, о обучении в нашем вузе, есть Татьяна Каршкина. Татьяна, передаю тебе слово. Татьяна. Здравствуйте. Да. Рада приветствовать всех. Сегодня меня зовут Татьяна Каширкина. Я родом из Донецка, но два года уже живу в Польше. Моя история переезда началась с туристической поездки в Гданьск три года назад. И мне настолько понравился город, что я решила переехать туда. И как способ переезда выбрала получение образования. Загуглила все возможные варианты и остановилась на Гданьском политехническом университете, на факультете менеджмента и экономики. С первых дней со мной поддерживал связь русскоязычный работник международного отдела академического сотрудничества политехники. И таким образом, я даже не знаю польского языка, смогла собрать весь пакет документов для поступления. Тем более, что для поступления на магистратуру мне нужно было только предоставить мой диплом бакалавра Донецкого национального технического университета и сертификат знания польского языка на уровне B1. И чтобы выучить польский до этого уровня, мне понадобилось только полгода с нуля. Сейчас я уже готовлюсь к защите дипломной работы и могу с уверенностью сказать, что учеба в этом университете превзошла все мои ожидания. Здание нашего факультета очень современное, технически оснащенное, красивое. Преподаватели в основном это люди, которые имеют опыт в той сфере, в которой они преподают. Например, финансирование у нас вел человек, который работал в банке много лет на разных позициях. К учебному процессу подход такой, что мы учим программы последние, самые новые, которые используются в самых лучших компаниях мира. И самые последние методологии управления проектами и так далее. Я много где училась на протяжении жизни, я постоянно учусь, мне есть чем сравнить. Я могу сказать, что качество образования очень высокое. Даже когда между семестрами у нас есть перерыв, буквально две недели, это сессия пересдач, факультет организовывает для желающих студентов, организовывает и оплачивает тренинги, такие как на тему Lean Management, Problem Solving, Business Simulations и другие, которые, в принципе, каждому могут пригодиться в жизни. Я участвовала практически во всех этих тренингах, потому что не хотелось упускать такую возможность. 
А также не могу не упомянуть тот факт, что когда учишься в таком университете, вот когда есть возможность участвовать и в рамках их деятельности, можно посещать всю Европу, узнать новых людей, новые культуры. Yes, hello, can you hear me and see my screen? Can you hear me and see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes. so uh, I'm very happy to greet everyone who participated in this event. And uh, as I was introduced already, my name is Galina Tabunchik. I'm professor of software tools department, and uh, I'm a little in charge of international projects which are running in our university. And uh, why it is very important to have these uh, international projects nowadays? Because uh, we are all talking about uh, this digital transformation and uh, digital transformation is now taking all uh, all part of the road and uh, educational uh, institutes as well. And can you see from this slide that um, uh, uh, some digital activities? Something wrong with your song. We cannot hear. And all jobs before our uh, labor market of it. Uh, we are a uh, university, but uh, from home as well and uh, from uh, everywhere. That all the, that our our education should be very flexible. It should be individual uh, because uh, we could see uh, with this COVID situation that our mass lectures and mass works more individual, it's more working in peers and we are more now mentors than like educators in some way. And uh, how to switch to these uh, new requirements to us for educators, for academia. And one of it, uh, it is uh, the help of uh, international projects. International projects uh, which uh, help us, uh, our universities, to be uh, uh, in line with all this digital transformation from uh, understanding how it is now and, and to switch in it, how it should be. What we have in our university? In our university, we have uh, international students exchange uh, within Erasmus Plus, uh, Erasmus Plus uh, Action One, uh, DAD projects. Uh, we have uh, Central European projects. We have uh, Erasmus Plus capacity building projects. Our network for uh, key action one partners uh, you see already wide we have nine universities uh, with uh, some we are already cooperating and exchanging students from 2016 uh, some appear only this year and if i understand correctly with your university they are also is running a great work for these uh, students exchange as well uh, one what are results of this uh, student exchange uh, as one of these results, I could show this uh, hybrid laboratory Goldie from our partner, uh, Elminau University of Technologies. Uh, we start our cooperation within capacity building projects in 2012. And uh, of course, capacity building projects finished, but now uh, in our laboratories have these remote labs and our students who are, uh, continue uh, exchange with this university, they are making projects, they're improving this lab, and not only German students could work with it, but also our students, and generally from other Ukrainian universities as well. We have possibility for virtual mobility with the Halon Institute of Technology, and uh, the other part of the work, it is projects. 
Uh, this is not a big project, but uh, also very impressive. It is a DAD project, uh, Virtual Master Cooperation of Data Science. This project, first of all, helps uh, university uh, to develop, uh, to, to start to shift the development of this digital environment uh, of the university, which help us to connect uh, with the other four universities who are partners, to share joint infrastructure, to give our students uh, pool of modules available from everywhere. So this is like first basis shift to this digital transformation of our university. Uh, what else I would like to tell about our Erasmus Plus projects. Uh, for the, it's not all projects, it's only like last 10 years. There was um, five, six projects and one by one, it was stairs, stairs which help uh, university to improve uh, capacity of the university, to improve its infrastructure, to improve our curriculums and to give our students uh, a possibility to be required on our labor market. Uh, the last two projects, uh, the one is finishing uh, next month. It is uh, Erasmus Plus Projects Innovative Multidisciplinary Curriculum in Artificial Implants uh, for Bioengineering. Uh, you see there are 13 partners uh, in cooperation, European partners, uh, Israeli partners, and Ukrainian partners. And uh, the task was to make multidisciplinary program uh, where uh, in the end to create this um, bachelor and master curricula. And we have this really great results. We have new master curricula, we have new laboratories, we have new teaching material in English, uh, high, uh, English uh, and Ukrainian. Uh, and uh, we have uh, new projects with our partners. We have uh, joint students, um, uh, students' activities, and we have uh, more close cooperation with the labor market through all Ukraine with the help of one of our Setenka Institute partners. Uh, we are working now on uh, developing double diploma with the, our grant holder, uh, Madrid Polytechnic University, as well. You know, it is very important to have this double diploma because it gives uh, more possibilities for our students to be recognized not only in Ukraine, Poland, uh, uh, Madrid, but worldwide. This is our laboratories, our teaching materials. Uh, so the other project is uh, only running, for, it's only one year of this project, and we are very proud to announce that we are a grant holder. So it's great honor to be grant holder of such a big one million project uh, for the partners. And this project, this is the key project for this digital transformation of uh, uh, higher education as well. So the idea is to change the approach of the module development, uh, of the cooperation between the partners, we have consortium uh, uh, from uh, Ukrainian, Azerbaijan, and European universities. Uh, and uh, the idea is, mm, yes, as all capacity building projects, uh, we are developing new learning material because uh, it is very important uh, in our days to have this learning support for our students when you never know when, if you will work face-to-face -face or you will work uh, online. And but uh, what is the innovative moment that we are working uh, in new model in the model of community of practice? Uh, we are developing approach for these uh, communities of practice. Communities of practice. Uh, so each module are considered. Uh, should, each model should be developed uh, with this group uh, community from uh, different universities. Uh, uh, who are experts and not only universities, also representatives from the labor market uh, and governmental structures to uh, help uh, uh, to help uh, create uh, the real content of the module, which will be uh, really important for the students and help them to be more required on the labor market. We are planning to increase those infrastructure you saw already, which was started within WiMAX projects. We already have prolongation of this WiMAX project, WiMAX Plus, Plus, and we are continuing to develop this infrastructure 
increasing with this project uh, new workforce. It is increasing. There will be a great pool of modules available for all students. We are so uh, and uh, not only models. Yes. So we are trying in the end to summarize it as a a set of competences, standards, a learning material and didactic material, uh, which helps uh, uh, future to organize the work of the universities uh, uh, to suit uh, these uh, new requirements uh, for the labor market uh, work for zero, to make our university uh, be proud to tell that we are educating uh, for the students uh, like education and uh, equivalent to the education 4.0. I know my surname is pretty hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> before we give you a, before I give a flow to the assistant professor uh, Marcin Jaskolski, who is our uh, professor in uh, Faculty of Electrical and Control Engineering, I would like to show you a movie about this faculty. Designing the layouts of power plants creating smart networks and information protection. These are the challenges faced by the students of the Faculty of Electrical and Control Engineering. <laughs> And now the presentation of assistant professor uh, Martin Hello, my name is Martin Eskulski, and I'd like to invite you to the presentation of the Faculty of Electrical and Control Engineering curricula. I will also mention a few words on students' class. I will explain you why you should choose class, and I will give you some successes of our graduates. We are located in the Dallas University of Technology. And four buildings, including the main historic building and modern Lincoln Square apparatus. Our faculty is structured into nine departments, covering the broad spectrum of research issues in the field of electrical and cultural engineering. Faculty also manages three major laboratories: Lincoln Square Laboratory. One, the laboratory for integration of uh, regular resources and innovative technologies for electricity. The second is intelligent energy laboratory, the lab six for intelligent buildings. The third one, technology application unit, which is a part of the marine medical technology center. Over 100 academic teachers and research staff is hired by faculty of over 1,000 students uh, study here uh, in three uh, business days. Every year, 430 students graduate from our faculty, obtaining a degree of Master of Science or Bachelor of Science. The first curriculum we offer to students is in electrical engineering. In this field, we educate. The second curriculum is offered in automation, robotics, and control systems. In this field, we educate specific specialists who are prepared to work in the design, production, and operation of devices and automation and robotic systems, which are used in various industries. An important aspect of education is, among others, the practical learning of programming, industrial robots, and programmable controllers used in industry. In this field of study, you will find full time and part time studies of both 
undergraduate and graduate levels. Graduates from a university in the field of automation, robotics, and control systems can program PLC, programmable logic controllers, design SCAL, supervisory control and data acquisition systems, and design control systems, or simple ones and complex, with the use of PLC controllers and industrial computers, can identify and develop models for industrial facilities and processes. Uh, can experiment on dynamic industrial objects, processes, and finally, they can conduct reliability analysis, control, and security automation systems. The third curriculum offered by our faculty is in our engineering. And it is offered as a result of a close cooperation of our faculty with two other faculties at our university. Thank you for your attention. So, do you see my screen now, right? Uh, do you see my screen now? Yes, we see you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Great, so uh, I would like to present our company, Infocomo today. It's a Ukraine engineering uh, company. We are already 25 years in the market and we are certificate Siemens solution partners. Uh, what we are doing, we are doing design and works of automation and the power distribution systems, development of the software for the automation process and IT production control mass level, uh, cabinets assembly and supply of the control systems, mounting adjustment, uh, some type of equipment and control system, and supporting uh, the our systems. Uh, we work uh, widely almost all over the world. We represent it and have the projects in the 33 countries. And for the 25 years, it took, we were more than 1,000 of big projects. Uh, our competencies in the pyramid of the automation cover the all levels from the zero level from the device, field devices and up to the SCADA MS and the ERP systems. Uh, we work widely in the almost all industrial spheres that you can uh, know. Yeah, it's metallurgy, food, chemical, machinery, oil and gas, energy production, infrastructure, and uh, many, many others. Uh, I will share the, this information about uh, each uh, bit later in the end of the, our presentation. Our main clients is the widely known companies such like Cargill, British American Tobacco, Monsanto, Procter & Gamble, Bungie, Siemens, Kernel, and uh, Europa Crown, and a lot of other well-known companies. Our partners uh, is uh, also well-known manufacturers of the electronics. Yeah, the main our partner is Siemens, yeah, but we are also representatives of the other companies like Festa, Schneider, ABB. Labcabel and others. Uh, we have around 190 employees in our two uh, representatives. We have the man, main office in the Zaporizhia, and we have the second office uh, in the our capital of the country in the Kiev. So, and I would like uh, to say a bit about the, our. R&D department, it's called Anman Technologies uh, because it's uh, uh, it's the future of the, our company and uh, the, a lot of the uh, abilities of such people we will use in the, our automation projects already uh, today and in the nearest future. Uh, so uh, we have the clusters in the our company. It's 
control systems, it's alternative power engineering, it's EV charging stations, and uh, smart roads and man transport, robots, call center, and other. So the promising areas of the network applications. Our specialists uh, closely work with the neural networks. Uh, they uh, create them, configure, learn, study, and uh, after, after it, uh, reteach all of them. And uh, they use the such neural networks like the YOLO V3, POS estimator, and also familiar with the such tools like speech recognition and the others. We have the one box that, uh, for example, can be used for the to make the any uh, car or vehicle to be the fully or partly unmanned. Uh, you can see this box now in the screen. Um, in the like the brain of this box, we are using the uh, computer from Nvidia. It's uh, Jetson TX2 and uh, it also can be the other uh, computers. And also the one of the part of the system is the uh, Siemens uh, programming block. One of the possible implementation of these systems is the uh, unmounted tractor. As you can see, uh, its equipment can be equipped by the radar, front camera, back camera, side camera, and the control system. And with this, with help of the system, it can be used in the fields uh, for the agriculture, and uh, you can uh, drive without uh, any driver, and um, it, yeah, it can be real benefits of this system. So after, in, in, the dispatcher of the system will have the such scheme of the field and uh, he understands in the real time what is conditions uh, and where the tractor located and what is the situation. So it's full monitoring and control. The benefits, yeah, it's the time economy, fuel economy, work reduction, income and increase and work comfort. Also, one of the business cases is the quadrocopter applications. It can be used for the uh, scanning the area, scanning the fields, uh, the creating the real map of the territory, yeah, and uh, a lot of different applications. A bit uh, more about the neural networks and the navigation and the computer vision. It can divide to the few separate uh, blocks. Yeah, it's like the image recognition when the some um, module recognize the the items here, yeah, like the car, bicycle, person, and for the segmentation when the neural network recognize the road and uh, recognize the marking at this road and uh, also can recognize the road without marking. So it's, for example, one of the video where you can see like the, how the neural network segmentation working in the real life. It's the, our prototype of the unmanned vehicle that uh, drive in the rural territory. It's uh, the, the next video, like the how neural network can be used. It's the gesture control for the robotic platforms. So now the, the camera uh, scan the, the human and by the analyzing skeletons, uh, it uh, can follow the human and also human can give to the platform the such commands like uh, follow me, like the stop uh, right to the left, by uh, by hands or by the legs. Um, it's uh, the next application of their our system. It's the uh, follow mode. So 
the second car uh, recognize the the first and automatically follow uh, follow up to the first car we call this system smart track Yeah, so uh, like they, it can be in the real life presented uh, very um, wide and the different types of the neural networks and all of them can be used for the real, uh, real life and the real projects. Yes, the such of the one of the comments uh, to the car is attention, start, silence, follow me, and the wait. And also these comments can be given to the car by sound and uh, by the remote control. Uh, we can install the special app to the mobile smartphones and you can control even the car or small robot by this app. Uh, also, the dispatching of these systems uh, is done on the Siemens uh, SCADA WinCC OR. The experience and qualification of our specialists uh, in the industrial design and cover, like the PLC, CNC system, weighting and batching systems, uh, sensors, uh, so it's uh, like the full full case uh, projects uh, the electrical schemes our specialists uh, do in the special software like the designing in the year plan and uh, the also it's for the voltage analysis and optimization is the software called neplan it's very popular even in the Europe for the short circuit calculations and arc flash study. So the automation specialist qualifications, yeah, they cover the all possible today, the PLCs, CAD operators, drivers, and industrial networks, protocols, systems, and solutions. The qualifications in the IT sphere also is uh, uh, very wide in the, our companies uh, yeah, because we um, are not uh, focused only in the one direction. So we try to to check and to use the every almost every solution that represented now. Yeah, and uh, briefly about the, our projects that we have done for the last 25 years. The automation tracking, uh, it's the project for the vehicle pass and identification on the industry facilities. Uh, the, it can be done uh, with help of the air feed marks, barcodes or the special computer vision cameras. And when the car is going for example, up to the gate, uh, it's already recognized this truck and it, uh, each control point, uh, the operator have information in the real time uh, what is happening uh, at the industrial object. The oil instruction plants and seed storage uh, is one of the, our main direction because Ukraine is the agricultural country and uh, we closely work with the oil extraction plants for the any type of the automation. The, we develop and manufacture power supply and distribution systems uh, like the by designing our project by the our projects or by the projects of the other companies. The production of the cabinets. Uh, yeah, we have the Siemens licensee for the cabinets MCC Sivacon. And uh, yeah, we have the certifi certified specialists for it. Um, briefly about the other projects, it's the warehouse management, 
for example, for the borders of plastic in Russia, the crane modernization, a lot of uh, plants in Russia, China, Mongolia, and Ukraine. The material flow management, uh, this system was developed by the our engineers and developers. It's such kind of the uh, mass system and uh, it's uh, operating nowadays in the Kazakhstan Yekibas Yeah, so the metallurgy. Uh, in the beginning of this century, we had around uh, 25 uh, projects in the China with the desulfuration of the iron at the steel plants and uh, closely work in the Ukraine and the Europe. The water treatment, automation and dis dispatching of the water treatment stations, uh, yeah, projects in Zaporizhia, in Ukraine, and also Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. The infrastructure facilities, yeah, like the dispatching of the buildings and the utility systems, yeah, also Ukraine and the other countries. Titanium industry, yeah, it's connected to the uh, projects in the metallurgy plants in China and uh, the Parisian titanium magnesium combine. The energy industry, we work with nuclear, hydro, and heat electrical stations in Ukraine. The boilers automation in dispatch in yeah, Ukraine, Russia, and Kazakhstan. High, vo high voltage sub substations, construction, and modernization. Also, the white list for the customers in Ukraine. The alternative energy, yeah, we have our own solar power station and we design and uh, manufacturing the power station for the, our customers. Yeah, you can see a wide list of this such kind of project. Oil industry, we closely work one time with the Norway and also with the Ukrainian customers. Offshore operation, yeah, it's about the oil industry. Yeah. Uh, so we had the systems for the offshore projects. It's like for the power management, such kind of the stations that located in the sea. Yeah, so the hub advantages. The 25 years of the automation engineering market, we are certified uh, on the quality management systems, and uh, we are certified the Siemens Solution Partner, application of the innovative technical solution and experience of international projects. And uh, we are young and experienced team. The average age is 32 years in our company. So yeah, uh, thank you for the listening to me. And if anybody have a questions, I'm ready to answer. Uh, okay, dear colleagues, do you have any questions to Andre? Your questions, please, to Andre. Okay, if there are no questions, so uh, according to our timetable, uh, we are having. Uh, <laughs> We are having a short break, so shall we make this short break? I mean, like five or ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, colleagues, shall we make a break? Five or ten minutes. Um, can we have the break after our uh, next presentation? Because now we should have a presentation with the. Um, um, Assistant Professor Robert Malkowski, the um, um, Linte Laboratory of Intelligent Power Engineering, uh, mm -hmm. by our Assistant Professor Robert Malkowski. And now I would like to invite you to the presentation of Linte My name is Vivian. Yeah. 
with your sound. We cannot hear you. And now I would like to invite you to the presentation of Princess Maria. Okay. Let's watch uh, the film about the Prisca Polytechnic until the end, right? Статус та імідж студенту технічного вишу. Запорізька політехніка – це вже по праву бренд статус та імідж. Готує кваліфіковані кадри Запорізька політехніка, в тому числі і за гуманітарними напрямками. Окрема гордість – інститут управління та права. І практика у гуманітарії теж невід'ємна частина освітнього процесу. Єдина в області кафедра військової підготовки функціонує на базі саме Запорізького політеху. За два роки навчання студент має змогу отримати не лише фах, а й звання молодшого лейтенанта. Це таких спеціальностей, які пов'язані зі сферою юриспруденції, військові звання сприяють кар'єрному зростанню. Для студентів НУЗП по-справжньому чекає активне студентське життя, безліч можливостей, напрямків для розвитку, соціальних акцій. Ведеться активна профорієнтаційна робота. У студентів також є можливість поздоровитися. Національний університет Запорізька політехніка співпрацює з багатьма провідними європейськими університетами за міжнародними програмами, що дозволяє випускникам долучатися до європейського освітянського простору. Ходження до току кращих, а вже статусно говорять викладачі, проте саме успіхи випускників Запорізького політехнічного вишу – кращий показник успіху навчального закладу. Отож, долучайтеся до професіоналів, адже від мрії до успіху – один крок – освіта. Доброго дня, шановні учасники сьогоднішньої відеоконференції, сьогоднішнього